Hi tribe, this is Jax. <laughs> Here in my medicinal garden and I am harvesting some culinary sage. We are going to be using this lady for our health um, and particularly for our lung health. She is an expectorant. Um, she dries you up so if you're congested and have a lot of mucusy phlegm going on in your chest, she is an amazing ally to help us support our lung health. She's very pungent and very dry. Um, so you're not gonna need a lot of her. A little bit goes a long way. So we'll be using culinary sage to make sage infused honey. Now I like using honey for medicines um, when it comes for children. So that's kind of what we're using her for. And she's gonna be soothing to the throat, especially combining her with honey. Um, obviously, we're going to be using some raw honey. Local honey is going to be your best bet if you have allergies because honey does help with allergies. And we are going to be making a tincture with her as well. No. So to make your honey infusion, you're going to chop her up um, a bit. The stems, you can use the stems. They do have medicinal properties as well. You can just roughly chop her up. So make sure that you wash your sage completely and inspect it for any kind of bugs or any eggs that might be in the leaves. And, you keep it, and then make sure it's nice and dry before you chop her up. And like I said, a little bit goes a long way. You don't need to um, fill her up completely. Okay. Also, one thing to know about um, infusing the honey, you're not going to have to worry about fermentation because she's too dry to cause fermentation. All right, so she is in it very loosely. One tip that I have is to go ahead and warm up your um, honey. Don't cook it, you just want to liquefy it. That allows the honey to really get deeper into the jar. It allows it to go in a lot smoother. Okay, now we have the warmed up honey and it's a little bit more liquefied. So we're gonna go ahead and you need some kind of utensil or chopstick or knife. You basically wanna pour it in and then you're gonna make sure you don't have any air pockets. So you're gonna really get that honey right down there. Okay. And you're gonna fill it up until the entire, not entire jar, but you want the sage to be completely covered. All right. Now the last thing you wanna do with your jar is label it, okay? Um, that way you remember exactly what you made, when you made it, and that's really what I do. I put the date and what it is. So sage infused honey in today's date would be what I would put on my label. After four to six weeks, and actually I would recommend even keeping it longer, more like three months for the honey. And um, at that point, then you're gonna have to strain the leaves out of it. So we're gonna be making a sage tincture along with the honey infused tincture. And it's literally the same process, except you're just gonna be adding 100% fruit vodka to your um, jar. With the tincture, um, you are gonna have to let it sit for about four to six weeks. Um, what you wanna do is roughly chop her up. That way you get more of the surface space um, for the alcohol to go in and extract the properties of the, um, of the sage. I use 100% proof vodka because it's 50% water, 50% alcohol, and that allows the alcohol and the um, water-based properties to be extracted from the sage. So after you have roughly chopped your sage, you want to use 100% proof vodka. This is because it's 50% water, 50% alcohol, and all you wanna do is pour it on top. You wanna make sure you cover the entire plant. Matter. <laughs> 
So basically you want to cover it up, you want to fill it to the very top. So I'm going to fill it up to the very top. This avoids um, oxidation from happening. Oxidation is when your plant turns brown. You don't want any of that. If you're using a metal lid, you're going to need some kind of barrier on top. That way it doesn't eat up your metal lid. So just a cloth. This is a linen cloth. You all know how I feel about my linens. I'll just put the linen cloth and just, there you go. You're going to stir this in a cool dark place for about four to six weeks. At that point, you have a tincture. And you have to strain it first. Don't forget to strain it. Nobody wants some leaves in their tinctures.